Hello fans Los Angeles Lakers news, my name is Fabiano all are welcome, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss Lakers first hand news and leave your like to strengthen the channel. Bronny James, the eldest son of Los Angeles Lakers superstar LeBron James, reportedly collapsed and suffered a cardiac arrest on Monday while practicing. The younger James is entering his first season with the University of Southern California, having committed to play for the Trojans over schools like the University of Oregon and Ohio State University. The six foot three combo guard is expected to play a big role for USC this season and should help elevate the school's program, which has done well under head coach Andy Enfield. Some more information about the scary incident was offered. Sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ Sports a 911 call was made at 9.26 a.m. Monday from USC's Galen Center for the venue where the team plays and practices, and the 18-year-old Hooper, who was unconscious, was taken by ambulance to the hospital, TMZ reported. Our sources say it was a code 3, meaning the ambulance lights and sirens, which signifies the seriousness of the emergency. Thankfully, it appears as though the younger James is all right. The elder James was undoubtedly very frightened when he initially heard the news. The basketball world will surely be paying close attention for any updates on the younger James, who is viewed as a solid NBA prospect. The elder James has made it clear that he has a strong desire to team up with his son in the NBA. If that were to happen, it would be one of the most memorable moments in the league's history. For now, however, that dream will have to wait. The younger James will first have to focus on recovering from this scary incident and then show NBA teams that he's deserving of a roster spot. Leave your like on this video to keep up to date with everything that happens at Lakers thanks. Continuing. USC has a star-studded roster for this season, with top recruit Isaiah Collier and Boogie Ellis, the team's leading scorer last season, also in the mix. Things are also looking good for the elder James and the Lakers, as Los Angeles was able to retain most of its core from last season, while adding solid complementary players like Gabe Vincent, Torian Prince, Jackson Hayes and Cam Reddish. Only time will tell how this season goes for the younger and elder James, but for now, all focus should be on the youngster's health. Put your opinion in the comments as it is very important for Lakers I update you at any time with the latest news from Lakers. Help the channel become a member.